Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is Hopeful Chewbacca back at the Church of Chewbacca, and today we're going to go over 12 new 94 flashback event cards that came out, and it features cards that are rated from 85 overall all the way up to 91 overall. Some of these cards are very, very good. Some of them, not so much, just like they've been with all of these cards. Once again, I do think the alumni players are pretty slow, as well as some of the guys that are actually the modern day players, one of them being Ryan Getzloff. He is a tortoise on this card but as always we're gonna give them in-depth true reviews give them a one through five truly rating let's get into it glenn anderson the five foot eleven 174 pound left-handed shooting winger that played for the toronto maple leaves in 1994 glenn anderson he has one point for barrage two points for howitzer it is clutch to discard as howitzer is gonna allow him to get up to 90 speed with just his player synergy as well as 90 agility with 95 wrist shot and slap shot power the barrage is not the best Team synergy, but it does give you slap shot power, slap shot accuracy, offensive awareness, and aggression. Let's see what this Glenn Anderson looks like with no synergy boost. He has 85 acceleration, 87 agility, 90 balance, 86 endurance, 87 speed. His shooting is 89 for slap shot and wrist shot accuracy, 92 for slap shot and wrist shot power. His hands are 91 passing, 91 puck control, 95 offensive awareness are the highlights. And his deking is not that high at 85 with an 88 hand eye. Body checking, 91. That's huge for a guy. That's 5'11", 174 pounds. He's really going to crush guys, I think, even at his size. I think he'll be pretty solid. And he has 92 strength for his checking category. 93 defense awareness, 91 shot blocking, 94 stick checking. Only 58 discipline, which is kind of disappointing, but he does have 81 faceoffs on for a winger. So for whatever reason you get on a 4-on-4, four four, he'll be halfway decent to take faceoffs at 81. What I will say, this Glenn Anderson is definitely dependent on at least his player synergy for him to be a very viable card. The fact that he has Barrage, I think, hurts the card a little bit because it's, it's not the best team synergy. It's not a synergy you're really going after. The 85 acceleration is a little bit low for a high-end card at the 90 overall. Because of this, I'm going to give this Glenn Anderson four Chewies. I think he's going to be pretty pricey. You're going to have to pay about 150,000 coins for him. I think you can find somebody else that's a howitzer plug, essentially, that has comparable attributes to this Anderson for a cheaper price. That's just my personal opinion. He is a very solid card, though. That's why we're going with the four Chewies. Morgan Riley. The fast skating Riley, 6'1", 219 pounds, left-handed shooting defenseman. Obviously plays on the Toronto Maple Leafs currently. Has one point for barrage, two points for light the lamp. Light the Lamp is going to help you with your wrist shot accuracy, balance, offensive awareness, and hand-eye. As you know, the Barrage helps with your slap shot, so making the power and accuracy better are like the prime thing that you're going for when you're looking for Barrage. As for the Riley, without any synergies, he has 89 acceleration, 93 agility, 90 balance, 95 endurance, 89 speed. So he's a very good skating defenseman. He can get up to 92 speed and 93 acceleration if you have distributor and spark. That's huge in my personal opinion. I do think... The fact that he can't get the 92 speed with distributor is pretty big, especially with some of the other attributes we're about to go over. He has 84 slap shot accuracy, 91 slap shot power, 85 wrist shot accuracy, 90 wrist shot power. So not the most accurate shot, but he definitely shoots it hard enough. Then for his hands, he has very good hands other than the hand eyes at 88. The Deakings 93, 94 offensive awareness, passing, and puck control. So those are great numbers. Going to be a great breakout guy. Could definitely be your power play quarterback, or at least one of them. I don't know if he'd be your premier guy, but hey, he has the ability to with that 94 passing and the 94 offensive awareness. 88 body checking, 90 strength, a 6'1", 219 pounds. Those are more than sufficient numbers to knock some people on their butts. 93 defense awareness, 90 shot blocking, 92 stick checking with 93 discipline. So really liking the way those attributes line up. This Riley, other than the fact he doesn't have great synergies, looks like a very good card. He looks like a guy that if you need maybe to light the lamp, you could get it on defense. Once again, though, the barrage hurts him a little bit. We're going to also give him four Chewies. So both guys from the Toronto Maple Leafs getting four Chewies, but I think it's very fair ratings for the two cards. Mark Recchi. The Philadelphia Flyer, Mark Recchi, is 5'10", 195 pounds, left-handed shooting, and he had some ridiculous years when he played with the Flyers in the 90s. Looking at this card, he has one point for distributor, two points for wingman. The distributor gives you speed, passing, and puck control at plus three. The wingman is going to give you acceleration, wrist shot accuracy, and passing at plus three. So you can max out his passing either with the distributor or the wingman, which I think kind of hurts this card a little bit because... It, most teams are going to have distributor, which means that the wingman's biggest thing that's passing on top of the acceleration, but passing is like the secondary attribute. It's already maxed, so you're not really getting a lot of points. So when you're looking at this card, you're really just getting the benefit of acceleration for wingman. Looking at the skating, 86 acceleration, 89 agility, 94 balance, 84 endurance, 86 speed. 
His shooting is 92 for his slap shot and wrist shot power. 91 wrist shot accuracy, 90 slap shot power. It makes a lot of sense that his shot so good because he did score 50 goals this season. Well, 50 plus. It wasn't 50 on the nose. And then you're looking at his hands. These are really good hands for a card. 92 deking, 98 offense awareness, 95 hand eye, 96 passing, 96 puck control. He has 84 body checking, 91 strength, 90 aggression. For his checking category, he has 95 defense awareness, 90 shot blocking, 96 stick checking, as well as 87 discipline. And even for a winger, he's 84 faceoffs, which is a really good number for, for faceoffs for a winger. This Mark Recchi has all of the attributes you need, minus he's not the fastest card. He can only get him at a max speed of 89. But he does have distributor and the two wingman, even though the wingman doesn't benefit him as much. It is a, one of the better player synergies. I'm going to give this Mark Recchi that's going to be about 220,000 coins. I'm going to give him four and a half Chewies because he does have the distributor. His attributes are very good. It is a little bit unfortunate you only get him to 89 speed, and I think it's a little bit of a concern. But he is 5'10", 195 pounds, so I think he'll skate a little bit faster than maybe what his attributes show just because of his size. That seems to be what it is. A little bit smaller guys seem to be a little bit quicker. So I think you'll be able to get away with it with Recky at only 89 speed, but you're going to have to put him with a center and left winger, I guess, if you're playing him on left wing or right winger that is also fast. So get him with some faster players. I think this Recky could be very good. We're going to go with four and a half Chewies. Kevin Hayes. The big bodied center at six foot five, 216 pounds, left-handed shooting. Kevin Hayes. Currently plays for Philadelphia Flyers. He's either a second or third line center, depending on what kind of lineup they want to go with that day. He has one point for Spark, two points for Magician. The Spark gives you the acceleration at plus four. Magician is going to give you agility, deking, and puck control at plus four as well. Looking at his skating, 85 acceleration, 88 agility, 91 balance, 89 endurance, 85 speed. So he's a little bit slower, but he is six foot five. So you have to kind of take that into consideration with this card. But only being able to get the 88 speed at six foot five, he's going to feel very clunky and slow at this point in the game. His shooting is 86 for the slap shot and wrist shot accuracy, 89 slap shot power, 88 wrist shot power. So not the best shot for a power forward. I'd like to see a little bit harder shot, but it is what it is. His hands are 88 for deking and hand eye. 86 for passing and puck control, then 85 for offensive awareness. So he doesn't have the best hands, but it also makes sense because he's a power forward. He has 88 body checking, 91 strength. Then he has 85 defense awareness, 83 shot blocking, 87 stick checking, as well as 88 discipline. For a center, he only has 78 faceoffs, which is not a good number. You're going to have to play him on the wing somewhere. I will say this Hayes is a little bit slow. He does have Spark in the Magician, so good team synergy and above average player synergy. I'm going to give this Kevin Hayes three Chewies, and the reason I'm doing this is because not only is he a little bit slower... But the rest of his attributes just really aren't that great for an 87 overall. I'm very concerned about the 85 defensive awareness. He doesn't have great hands. He doesn't have a super hard shot. And he's a little bit slower. Even though he has good synergies, I'm going to give him the three Chewies just because I don't think the rest of the card's really that great. Shane Corson. The 87 overall Corson, 6'1", 202 pounds, left-handed shooting. He has one point for balance, two points for speedster. The speedster's going to give you speed and wrist shot power. I'm honestly not sure how this course is even an 87 overall. His skating is way too slow. It's 77 acceleration, 76 endurance, 77 speed. And that's about as far as I'm going to review this card. He has good defense and checking numbers. As you can see, they're in the low 90s. Decent hands and not very good shooting. He's labeled as a grinder. He's just way too slow. Even with the speed streak, gets up to 81 speed, which means you can max him 84 speed. For an 87 overall, he's like 35k. Absolute waste of space in my personal opinion. I'm going to give him one and a half Chewies only because he has Speedster. If he didn't have Speedster, he'd be one Chewy. I don't think he's worth picking up, to be honest with you, even for a Synergy plug. Even if you're an Edmonton Oilers fan, you can find way better players than what this Corson is. Just way, way too slow. Ryan Nugent Hopkins. One of the numerous first overall picks by the Edmonton Oilers in the early 2010s, Ryan Nugent Hopkins, six foot tall, 184 pounds, left-handed shooting. He is a centerman. He has one point for distributor, two points for magician. So very good synergies right off the bat. Then he has 88 acceleration, 94 agility, 87 balance, 92 endurance, 87 speed. So his skating's above average. He can get up to 90 speed max with a distributor, so that's pretty nice, but it's still not like this speedy, speedy RNH that you want. Then you're looking at his shooting, he has 90 slap shot accuracy, 92 wrist shot accuracy, with 88 for his slap shot and wrist shot power. So he's an accurate shot, but not that hard of a shot. His hands are very good, though, at 93 for deking offensive awareness and puck control, 94 passing with 90 hand eye. On defense, he has 82 body checking, 87 strength with 90 defense awareness, 82 shot blocking, 91 stick checking, and 90 discipline. Only 78 faceoffs, you're going to have to play him on the wing. The downside of this 
Ryan Nugent Hopkins is his skating's not that great, but he does have good hands, a pretty good shot, above average checking for sure, especially when you're looking at the stick checking and defense awareness. So I do like the fact that he can definitely be a two-way forward. I'm going to give him four chewies because of the distributor, even though his skating's not that great. I do think 90 speed you can get away with on like your third or fourth line. I think he could be pretty good at killing penalties, especially with his checking category. Craig Lugwig. Craig Lugwig, he's six foot three, 212 pounds, left-handed shooting. He has one point for Swarm, two points for Workhorse. Other than the fact that he has really good synergies with the Swarm and Workhorse, this card's another guy that's just pretty much unusable. 81 acceleration, 81 speed is going to be way too slow. As you can see, he's another guy that has some of his attributes in the low 90s. He's 87 overall. Going to cost in the same price range as that Shane Corson. That was about 30 to 35K. I'm not going to get too in-depth about this card. He's another guy that because he has Swarm and Workhorse, I'm going to give him two Chewies just because his synergies are so good. They're even better than the Corsons. But this card is way too slow. I mean, even with the Workhorse, you're only getting up to 84 acceleration. You can only max him 84 speed. That's just way too slow in the game right now. So we're going to give him two Chewies. Jamie Oleksiak. The former Dallas star turned Penguin back to Dallas star. Jamie Oleksiak, 6'7", 255 pounds, left-handed shooting defenseman. He has one point for Swarm, two points for Gladiator. So good synergies for a defenseman, but he's another guy who's way too slow. 81 speed, 80 acceleration, and he even has a little bit worse synergies than his partner in crime in the Craig Ludwig. I'm going to give this Jamie Oleksiak one and a half chewies. And the attributes aren't as good as Lugwig either. Obviously, he's an 85 overall instead of 87 overall. He's only about 17 or 18K. He is a big body at six foot seven though, so maybe the slower speed might be a little bit okay. But he, it doesn't matter. I'm giving him one and a half Chewies because she's just too slow. You can't be this slow skating and expect to be effective in this game. It's a, The game is about acceleration and speed and being meta. So you have to have guys that can skate, and so Alexiak cannot do that. Sean Hill. This is the third defenseman in a row that has terrible at skating. Sean Hill, six foot tall, 204 pounds, right hand shooting. He has one point for balance, two points for shutdown. And pretty much the same thing. He has some attributes that are in the low 90s, but he's too slow with 80 speed, 78 acceleration. We're also going to actually give this card one and a half chewies because it's not a great card either, just like the Oleksiak. And he's even shorter. He has some attributes, like I said, in the low 90s, but one and a half chewies. I don't think we need to go too in depth about this card. Avoid him at all costs, especially for somebody that's like 30 plus thousand coins. Ryan Getzloff. Normally the saying goes, bad things come in threes. However, I would say that at this point in time, slow things come in fours because this is the fourth card in a row. Way too slow. This Ryan gets off. One of my favorite players to watch, by the way, in any show. Normally one of my favorite players to play with in franchise or if you're playing versus before they made him super, super slow. This gets off six foot four, 227 pounds, right-handed shooting. The captain for the Anaheim Ducks plays first line center. Has been an absolute beast in his career. Will probably be in the Hall of Fame at some point in time. One point for heart and soul. Two points for thief. As if those aren't terrible synergies. He does have some stuff in the low 90s, especially his hands at 90 plus across the board. Very hard shot at 91 slap shot and wrist shot power. But 82 speed just ain't going to cut it. Plus he has terrible synergies. On top of that, gets lost faceoffs aren't even that great. And he's like known for being one of the best faceoff men in the NHL. We're going to give this gets lost one chewy. Absolutely terrible card. Should not make anybody's lineup. One chewy. Terrible synergies. Way too slow. Not a great card. Johan Garpenloff. Garpenloff played for the San Jose Sharks in 1994. He's six foot tall, 185 pounds, left-handed shooting winger. He has one point for heart and soul, two points for passing playmaker. The passing playmaker gives you slap shot accuracy, passing, and stick checking at plus four. Unfortunately, this Garpenloff is just kind of like the other cards. He has 83 speed, 83 acceleration, which means he can only max out at 86 speed which is not very good. 85 agility, 88 balance, 85 endurance. His shot's 89 slap shot and wrist shot power, 85 for slap shot, wrist shot accuracy. His hands aren't that great either. Honestly, this Garpenloff, I'm not going to get too much more in depth about his 85 overall. He goes for about 4,000 coins on the market right now. I'm going to give him one and a half chewies, and that's only because he can somewhat skate, and he has two points for passing playmaker, which isn't the worst synergy in the world, and he's very, very cheap. He's not going to cost you the price of the last four guys we went over before this that are like 30 plus thousand coin cards. 
the Getzloff is like in the 50Ks. I don't even know how. And pretty much this Garpenloff, not a very good card either. So we're going to stick with the one and a half Chewies. Let's see what the last card in this set of 12 is going to be. Hopefully it's somebody a little bit better that can give us a halfway decent Chewy rating and it's a halfway decent card. Thomas Hurdle. A former 30-goal scorer, Hurdle, 6'2", 215 pounds, left-handed shooting. He plays center for the San Jose Sharks currently. You could also see him on the wing sometimes a little bit earlier on in his career. He has one point for Spark, two points for Light the Lamp. The Spark is very big for the acceleration. The Light the Lamp, as we've already gone over, is for balance, wrist shot accuracy, offensive awareness, and hand-eye. So he is a very good team synergy and an average to above-average player synergy. Forest gains, 86 acceleration, 90 agility, 87 balance, 89 endurance, 86 speed. Not the best skating, but he can get up at least 89 speed, so that could be relatively sufficient. For his shooting attributes, he has 89 for slap shot accuracy, wrist shot accuracy, and wrist shot power. 90 slap shot power, though, so he's going to hit that slap shot a little bit harder than his wrist shot. His hands are going to be 90 for offense awareness and puck control. He has 89 for his passing and hand-eye, then 91 deking. The body checking is 81 with 87 strength. And over to the checking categories, 87 defensive awareness, 77 shot blocking, 87 stick checking with 81 face-offs and 83 discipline. The 81 face-offs is not sufficient enough to be a center, so he's going to have to play in the wing somewhere. But he's not that bad of a skater. He has a good team synergy. He has an above-average player synergy. I'm going to give this hurdle three and a half chewies. I think he could be a pretty decent card if you put him on the right team with the right synergies activated. And he has an above-average shot. He has pretty decent hands. The biggest thing about him that's keeping him not to get to the four Chewies is his defense and checking categories aren't the best. They're a little bit all over the place. If those were a little bit better, he'd get up to four Chewies. But three and a half is a very fair rating for this card. He's about 50K on the market. That's going to wrap up the Chewy review for these 12 new cards that came out for a 94 flashback event. They were released February 8th. And I do think this is probably the worst set of 12 that have came out, if I'm being honest with you. There's like five or six cards that are just horrendous. So like half of them are just terrible. The guys that are higher end, like the Mark Recchi, is just a little bit too slow for my liking. Same with the Glenn Anderson. The Morgan Riley was very good. I think that's probably the best card out of the bunch, that or Mark Recchi. I think Recchi got the highest Chewy rating, but I do think Morgan Riley could be the better card attribute-wise, but he doesn't have the same type of synergies that the Mark Recchi had. Do you guys think this is the worst set of 12 cards that came out for this 94 flashback event, or do you think it's somewhere in the middle? Do you think it's the best set of 12? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, I appreciate all the support that you guys give me. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video with any of your friends that play NHL 21. You guys have a great day, and be safe.